So, if you think this is a good trap, or if you're not sure if it's a good trap or not, then, hey, this video is for you. It's the worst possible trap you can put down. It's easily visible and easily avoidable. Hey, well, what do I know? Well, I've been adept certified since December of 2020. Back when, uh, the clicks were real. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're funny. Back when the clicks were real and the traps were red. So first and foremost, trap placement. You wanna make sure they're not visible, like put them in grass, uh, between the gens, use them to kill loops, and finally decoy traps. Um, first, as soon as the game starts, you wanna see where the gens are and draw an imaginary line between each and every one and set your traps on those lines. Here's a good place, in the grass. And I'm demonstrating this in the 2v8 because I have more traps, because it's trapper at its purest. There's no add-ons and I have more traps, so I can uh, show more examples. Pretending I'm just finished that gen and walking to this gen, or vice versa. Again, they finish the gen to the left, going to that gen, or finish that gen, moving to the other gen. So as soon as the game starts, you want to set your traps on your way to where the survivors spawn, and then push push them toward your traps that are already set. This is a perfect example right here. You'll see four of them running directly toward my traps. Exactly where I want them to run. And the traps are closed, these are all the ones that caught survivors. Some traps caught more than one survivor. She just moonwalked right into it, too greedy. That was a loop killer. This is another good loop killer right there in the grass. We got one trap so far, there's the second trap, which you saw if that loop killed that, uh, early on. In the grass. The best traps are the ones where survivors say, why is there a trap there? And make sure to reset your good traps. Like, this one caught at least two survivors, you'll see. Kill this window loop right here, put it right in the grass. Make sure, make sure to collect all your traps and set all of your traps. Because a bad trap is better than no traps. And since this is 2v8, it's a good idea to put some traps in front of chests. Beautiful. There's three. Right here, kill this loop up here. Yeah, this one is visible right here. But the idea of that trap is mid-chase. Um, I moved it from where it was, the inside, so they can't see it. So they run up, turn to vault, and then they run up there, turn to vault, and they step right into it. Or they need to turn back into me and uh, get hit. So either way, it's a hit with that trap. Guaranteed hit. Always push toward the traps. Always push toward your traps. Make sure to move your traps that are near completed gens. Uh, in 1v4, like normal DBD, this takes a lot of time. But as you'll soon see, Trapper is all about snowballing. Uh, you, can, you can have zero hooks when all the gens are done and still win. With, with good trap placement. Always push toward the traps. Always push toward your traps. Here's the decoy trap I was talking about. The real trap, you saw me place earlier in the grass. And then that one is visible. So what's going to happen is they're going to think, oh, the trap is right here. So, and they never suspect two traps side by side. Like right here. That's like right that perfect decoy. They think the trap is, they think the visible trap is the real trap. But no, that's our fake. The real trap's in the grass. We're not a baby trapper. We don't put traps in the open. As I said, Trapper is all about snowballing. So look here, I have zero hooks and all the gens are done. I'm pretty sure I was doing a challenge to carry survivors a certain distance, so that's why I have Agitation and Iron Grasp. And someone was already in his trap, there's another trap right there. So that's why I like the Honing Stone. When survivors are caught in a bear trap, survivors that are caught in a bear trap that free themselves are in the dying state, so they're slugged. So, I, I would have won right there because Bill would have been in the dying state, but no, he got up and ran. So, the game needs to continue on now. 
Honing Stone is perfect, but like I've been saying forever, the matchmaking is based off perks too, so you're gonna get at least one Unbreakable. I have the Honing Stone here, so I'll, uh, I don't want to hit him. I want to leave them. Chase him right into the traps. So, pay attention right here to Becca's trap. My second add on the Tension Springs will come into play soon. So, the Honing Stone, Dying State, Tension Spring, when a survivor frees themselves, it resets two seconds later. So what happens all the time is survivors get out with the Honing Stone, lay there, use their Unbreakable, pick themselves up, and step right back in the trap. Or untrap or untrap themselves, and someone goes to pick them up, and the trap reset. You see that? Pay attention right here. It's super quick. You're going to see her portrait pop up, her face, and then right back in the trap. What hap so what happened there, she used her Unbreakable... So she used her unbreakable right over the trap. Sit up and got trapped again. She didn't even know it reset. It reset underneath her body. I'm going to let this last example play us out. I hope you all enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button and make sure to subscribe. We're almost at that 500 mark. Until next time, I'm Nickel at Night. See ya. Corporate greed. Every day.